Hello, this is Pastor Scott and welcome to the Daily Message. Today is Monday. It is May 23rd, one week until uh, Barbecue Day, uh, Memorial Day, so yay. Uh, today's scripture reading is very short. It's James, the book of James, which Martin Luther hated, by the way. Uh, James chapter 4, verse 7. Uh, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. That's it. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in our devotional time. Uh, as we get going forward. Uh, links to subscribe to this channel and donate are down below. There's also a link to sign up to receive emails and stuff like that. Love to connect with you. Love to be able to help you stay up to date with what's going on with the church. So click those links down below. Uh, it be great to connect with you. Feels like it's been a little while since I did one of these. You know, um, just various reasons. Uh, just didn't do them for a little while, but I'm back. And now you're like, oh, geez, this guy again. Sorry. Uh, today's sign that is the apocalypse. Oh no, today's joke. Sorry, the joke. So um, Sarah's parents were very excited to uh, meet her new boyfriend. Sarah was getting a little older and they were just kind of wondering if, you know, anything was ever going to happen in her life with meeting a special someone. And uh, so she, you know, says, I want to bring my boyfriend over. And they're like, okay, great. And they're very excited. Uh, you know, so they spend all day slaving in the kitchen. They get the house ready. They mow the lawn. They got their best clothes ready. It's coming over. The doorbell rings. They open up the door. There's this huge guy there with a face, you know, looks like it's been in every possible fight. Tattoos everywhere. You know, scars all over the place. And uh, they're like, oh. I mean, he looks like a guy that beats people up for a living. And, uh, and they're like, Okay, well, they greet him, bring him inside. Sarah, can you join us in the kitchen? And they're like, what's the deal? And Sarah's like, well, what do you mean? Like, well, why would you date a guy like that? He looks like a criminal. And Sarah's like, you, you've got him all wrong. Oh, really? He's an incredibly nice and charitable guy. Really? Yeah. Well, what's he done? She says, well, just this past month, he spent 200 hours serving the community. Oh boy. Uh, today's sign that is the apocalypse is that the air conditioning is not working in the sanctuary. That's right. Air conditioning isn't working. Uh, we paid a lot of money to have the, you know, with AC, there's two units. There's the inside and the outside unit. I forget which one's which compressor, condenser. I can't keep them straight. Good thing I don't fix air conditioning systems. Inside and outside. We paid a lot of money to have the inside unit uh, fixed, and now it's the outside unit that's not working. It is under warranty. So we're pretty confident that we're going to get to be able to get it fixed without a whole lot of money. The, the parts are under warranty. The labor would be extra. Um, but the issue could be the same issue that we have with, um, you know, with the, with this getting the, the thing inside fixed, which is just couldn't get the parts. So, you know, it doesn't do us any good to, to get it fixed for free if we can't get it fixed until October. So I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. Um, it's insane and, you know, it's insane and crazy. It's both. So check the weather before you come to church, please. Again. Uh, today's sign that it is not the apocalypse is that there's a new VA opening in Canton, which is pretty great. Uh, you know, I'm in favor of anything that helps people get better health care. I know some folks like, you know, socialized medicine and don't like socialized medicine and stuff, but I think it's, you know, great. More people get good health care. I'm all for it. It's a good deal. So if we're opening new hospitals and clinics to take care of people, it can't be the apocalypse. But if the AC is out again for our summer, again, it must be the apocalypse. Decide for yourself. What's happening in church? Other than the air conditioning. Uh, meeting June 5th, we're going to vote on the roof, we're going to vote on new council, we're going to hear some exciting ministry updates. You know, there's actually a lot of great stuff that's been going on around here, and I'm excited for you to hear about it. So, uh, that's really, really cool. There's some good news to share, okay? Some, some really good news to share. So, plan on coming to that meeting after the 10 o'clock worship on uh, June 5th. We're wrapping up membership inquiry. That'll be wrapping up uh, this Sunday. Um, so that'll be the last session. Then if folks want to join the church, we'll have a joining ceremony. So that'll be great. 
Uh, I think we're, all, we're also doing uh, recognition of graduates coming up. So if you have a graduate or... Honestly, the way I've done it before is kind of if you're going through like a you know big life moment, but mostly it's just graduates. Uh, graduate for you or your family, let us know. Be happy to celebrate that. And VBS, right? VBS signups are live. Uh, we could use some volunteers to help with that. It's a really great curriculum. I'm super pumped. Um, Kim, our director of youth and family ministry, uh, say that five times fast, uh, has done a great job of pulling... Uh, she, she, she got this program and she's kind of pulled the best parts of it and um, it's, it's really really good it's really done she's good she's done a great job so I'm excited about that uh, just need some kiddos that's all so your neighbors your friends your family uh, anybody's invited uh, it's gonna be over at Emmanuel so we're gonna do it in partnership with them but I'll be there every day and we're gonna have a great time so get signed up for that all right so today's scripture reading uh, again, James chapter 4, verse 7, very short. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Very simple. Now, this is, this is in a larger section, obviously, um, which is about quarreling in the church, right? There are people who are not getting along. There are people who are coveting things. There are people who are, uh, uh, there's adultery going on, which is, tends to be a bit of a mess in church. It's hard to worship next to somebody you know when they're cheating with your spouse um you know it's all about the law and the rules um but you know then it says this line you know submit yourselves therefore to god and you know submission is an interesting idea generally speaking my experience is human beings do not like submitting ourselves right i am the classic example i hate following the rules the quickest way to get me to to do something is tell me I can't. Um, I don't think I'm alone in that. I think I'm probably a little bit more extreme, but I think, you know, we just kind of don't like being told what to do. It's part of, you know, it starts when we're kids and never stops. So the idea of submitting ourselves, right? It's not one that fills us all with, with joy and happiness. Um, it sounds like the opposite of what we've been taught life is about, right? Freedom, right? The ability to choose for myself. Um, well, there's an interesting notion about freedom, you know, and and freedom from, from sin. And Luther wrote about this a little bit. Uh, it's just interesting because he hated the gospel or the book of James, hated the good book of James, but but he wrote about this, right? Freedom, right? And, and Luther's idea of freedom was that we are, unless we are, you know, baptized and following Christ, we are not free because we can only choose sin because we are separated from God. And so everything that we kind of do, this is, this is kind of complicated and weird, uh, but kind of everything we do is separate from God. And for Luther, sin was separation from God. So everything we do, we, we, can't, we can't choose good things. We can't choose God. We can't choose God's way. Uh, freedom for Luther comes from following. When, I'm, when I follow God, then I'm free to choose. I can choose good or I can choose evil. Um, with Luther, I can only do evil if I'm not following follower of Christ. Now, I'm not sure that that definition really works for me uh, because I see a lot of people who are not followers of Christ who do good things in the world. Uh, but it, it, it kind of it kind of goes for me to the idea of this of this passage, right? Which is the idea that that following the right person, okay, makes my life better. There are people that I have followed in my life. Christ being one of them. There are people who help me follow Christ, and there are people that I've followed in other places and other ways that make my life better, right? If I follow, I followed a, I had a lacrosse coach. I followed him. He was a huge influence on me. The guy said, you know, probably 15 words to me my whole life directly, but a huge influence. Um, you know, he's one of these on a pedestal coaches. There have been other adults, other mentors uh, that I followed, that I choose, chose to imitate. They made my life better. Um, there are other people that I started to follow and I was like, mm, I don't want to go this way. Submission, really, the value of submission depends on who you're following. There are people that we, that we follow that give our life more meaning, more purpose, make it better. Um, submission can be wonderful. It can be super helpful. It's all a question of who we're submitting ourselves to. 
And so the notion of submit ourselves to God, right? Submit yourselves, uh, therefore, to God is what it says. You know, there's there might be this sense that, oh, now I have to follow the rules, and now I don't get to have any fun. And that's just simply not the case. Following God makes our lives better. Uh, the, there's a commandment that says, do not murder. Well, if you don't murder someone, your life is going to be better. There's a commandment that says, don't steal. Well, if you don't steal, your life is going to be better, right? Adultery, hello? I mean, yeah, if you don't commit adultery, your life's going to be better, right? And there's, there's other things, right? Submitting ourselves to God makes our lives better and it makes our world a better place. It's life-giving. And so I want to encourage you to, to submit yourselves to God. You know, when I get up there uh, on, a, on a Sunday and I preach a sermon, I pray for God to take over, to just take over. Like I forget about what I prepared, forget about what I wanted to say. Just take over God and just do your thing. And sometimes there are things that I mean to say that I don't say. And I leave them out. I'm like, well, it's because God wanted them left out. And sometimes there are things that I end up saying that I'm like, didn't plan to say that. Works out great. Sometimes I swear to you, I swear to you, there are times that people have come up to me and said, thank you for saying this in your sermon. And I'm like, I didn't say that. I never said that. That's, you know, there's power in that, right? Submitting ourselves to God. I and mean, we've had times in, in worship, or I think it was most recently at a funeral, when we were talking about what we should do. And I was like, why don't we just let the Holy Spirit decide that? And we did. It worked out great. Um, submitting ourselves to God makes our lives better it's a it's a submission that frees us forgetting about luther's kind of hinky definition about you know how people who don't follow christ can't do anything good forgetting about that submission to god gives us freedom and it makes our lives better so i want to lift that up before you as a as a as a way to live your life right to submit ourselves to god and let god make the decisions and lives your life will be so much better so let's pray for that let's pray for god to give us the courage to submit Get comfortable in our chairs. I'm going to straighten my back. Take some deep breaths. Let's pray. God, help me to submit to you. Help me to turn to you in all times for guidance and direction. Make your values my values, Lord. Make your choices be my choices. Lead me, guide me, direct me, Lord. Help me submit to you that I may have the life you promise and have it abundantly. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, we might not have AC. I get it. The world is nuts. But Jesus is still risen. That has not changed. The tomb is still empty. That has not changed. So be smart. Stay safe. Love everybody. I'll see you soon.